Hi, this is Adam Kunzmiller with Board Game Geek, and I'm joined by Andy Looney with Looney Labs. And we're Hi. here to talk about a variety of new items from Looney Labs. Yes, indeed. We have brought out a whole lot of things all at the same time. We've brought two new versions of Flux on the same day, Star Trek and Star Trek The Next Generation, because, you know, in the big Kirk versus Picard debate, we said, why not both? Definitely so we brought them out both at the same time. But I'll take this one. <laughs> and, uh, well, you know, I will tell you that that one is winning of, at, in, from <laughs> in the, sales. the sales standpoint. If <laughs> That's an like, interesting measure of popularity with dollars. Is sales of Flux Yeah. Uh, well, Flux we, were, we were curious. I think we all would have predicted that. But uh, not to say Captain Kirk's crew isn't a strong showing. Very respectable. Very but uh, respectable. Picard is I mean, winning yeah, out on that Picard, battle so far. On. Of course. And then we also have a whole slew of new expansion pack products. Uh, I actually, we have a whole, we did it as like one big card sheet with like six for this, six oh, for that, nice. ten for this. So we have uh, ten, of, uh, we actually printed a couple others, but these are the six that are new. So we've got four different packs for Flux. A new expansion pack for Monty Python Flux featuring The Black Knight. The Black Knight and Tim the Enchanter is also uh, Some call him Tim? They do indeed. Um, we've got the Creeper pack for, for original Flux. A little bit of background to understand what that even is. <laughs> in the original version of Flux, there were, there were war and death, and then we added Creepers, and it made more sense to turn those things into Creepers. So then the base game had Creepers in it, and some didn't like that, it was too complicated. So we took those cards back out. So version 5 doesn't even have them, and people missed that. So now with the Creeper pack, you can bring back War, death, taxes, and the radioactive potato. Nice. And the various cards that use those. Um, I'll come back to this one. Firefly Flux ha is very popular. People really like that. So we've got a pack of new cards for that with Saffron. And actually, I guess she's called uh, Yolanda in this version. And uh, Jubal Early. And then the last Flux pack is designed to go with these. See? It's the Bridge pack. And mm -hmm. it bridges nice. these two. And in fact, this is really the first time we've done a version of Flux or multiple versions that are intended to be combined. People always ask, can we mix them together? And yeah, you can. They all have sure. the same card bags, but it gets kind of wonky. Right. Whereas these, they really play well together, except they, they want some things that kind of bridge the gap. So these Perfect. cards do that with a whole lot of goals that use something from this and something from that. Plus right. the bridge itself, mm -hmm. which could be the bridge of either Enterprise. So that's pretty cool. So that's the fourth of the Star Trek packs. Plus we made a, uh, a the first, hopefully, of a series of new rule packs for Zendo, mm -hmm. our very popular logic game. Sure. We, the base, the, the, the ba rule guessing. Right, exactly. It comes with 40 cards, and that generates like 200 rules. But uh, this gives you 10 more cards to keep that go. fresh. And then blanks for Nano Fictionary. Nano Fictionary is our card, our storytelling card, card game, mm -hmm. and it's everybody wants to be able to add their own ideas to it. And in fact, that's one of the reasons why the, the game we we kept the art in a very simple black and white line drawing style, specifically so that the blanks product would you could make your own with a sharpie nicely. and it would fit in nicely. Yeah. Exactly. So that's what that is. Great. And then of course there are the two treks, and uh, I don't know how much time we have. We, take, we can peek into one of these for sure. Well, what I'd say I, I'd like to do, it's like a cooking show, you know. I've, sure. I've prepared already Ooh, in advance excellent. a shuffled together version. Perfect. So this is my bridged deck box. Nice. Which has the combined versions all, because my favorite way to play it is with everything all mashed together for the two versions. So I've already prepared that. And it's got, of course, the basic rules like every other version. But there's a fun meta rule called the five card mission that you get. That's in the bridge pack. The only way to get that is with the bridge pack. Because the bridge pack introduces a whole lot, oops, a whole lot of new goals. And sometimes if you have like goal bloat, right? too many goals, mm -hmm. we, we've, we've been coming up with more rules to, to help with that. So this is like, if you have five goals, you can dump them all at once to draw Actually, four, four, four goals, goals yep. dumped them all once to get five new cards, and then immediately play them all. So that's a pretty exciting thing to be able to do. Yeah, nice all way right. of handling that. Yeah, so let's just play a little, and you know, if we run out of time, we can just stop. That's fine. But, you know, Flux is a casual game like that. So, 
If you have any creepers, you got to play them right away. Mm -hmm. And uh, if not, I'll jump in and start. Go ahead. All right. So I will hit the jackpot for three extra cards. Your turn. All right. Draw one. I will <laughs> draw two and use them. Nice. One is a new rule. Hail okay, hail him at four. Ooh, oh, that, 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 that hits me right in the, in the hand. So, because I got six right now, so I got to dump a couple. Uh, creeper reassignment. I'm gonna go ahead and steal, throw away my steal something because I want to keep these other four. All right, and nothing happens because there's no keepers in play. Correct. All right. So I then draw one, ah, and I can now go on that five card mission. So before I play one, it's a free action. You can do that any time. Nice. So let's see what I get before I do that. I'm gonna keep one of these. I think I uh, will keep this. So I'm gonna throw away these four goals. Mm -hmm. Interesting stuff in here. I'm going to draw five new cards and play all of them. And if I get any creepers, they don't count. Okay, so these are all in the trash. Boom. And now I have, I have Ensign Smith. I have two goals. I'm going to play Romulan Attack as our goal, which is a bridge goal that needs the old Romulans and the new Romulans. Okay. But I'm changing it. I love this one. He's dead, Jim. This requires that you have McCoy and, and Kirk, mm -hmm. you know, McCoy saying to Kirk, but there also has to be Ensign Smith in the discard pile nice. to be the dead guy. Uh, I'm still going, I'm gonna play draw three, play two of them, so set my hand down, play these. Oh, well, I don't wanna deal with brain transference. So I'm gonna play Creeper Sweeper, nothing happens, and Rules Reset gets rid of this. Okay. And then my last of the five card mission is a Time Vortex. So I gather up the hands, shuffle them up, and deal them back out, starting with myself. Boom, 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 and boom. I have completed my turn. Okay. No, wait, that's not true. That was all my five-card mission. I have oh, an actual you still have play one yet. card to play. That's so right. for my actual play, I'll change the goal to Dixon Hill. Now it's your turn. Excellent. All right. Draw one. Uh, I'll just do another draw two and use them. Okay, always good. Yeah, what do you got? I got Mr. Spock, Mr. Spock and, Spock and keeper a Keeper Limit 4. four. All right. Mr. Spock right there. Actually, I don't know if it's off the screen, where That's the screen right. edges are. All right, so I draw one and play one. I will I'll change the goal to the mirror doorway, the mirror universe, and then enemy malfunctioning transporter, which is how you get to the mirror universe. Mm -hmm. Your turn. All right, I'll draw one. And a uh, new rule. Play four. All right, we're going to be out of, out of cards completely <laughs> in a moment. We really need a draw four, but that's flux. You never know what you're going to get. You're, so you keep playing. Everybody you play one. all of them. Okay, everybody gets one. So you draw two cards. Choose who gets which one. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. Discard oh, nice. your choice of new rules cards in play. Discard the play four. Nice. All right, so we're back to play one. That goes in this card pile, and it's my play. And I'm going to thank you for that phaser. I'm going to go ahead and play it. There you go. Thank you. Why don't we wrap this up? Anything Fair else enough. you want to highlight? Uh, well, you know, it's it's a fairly standard flux in some ways. Sure. It, it has a lot of commonality, a lot of DNA in common with Char sure. flux, if you will. But it has a couple of pretty fun little twists in there. Haven't come up. Well, I like he's dead, Jim. But um, Probably the most interesting ones are the Darmok rule, yeah, which limits what you can say, like the oh, Darmok nice. episode, mm -hmm. and um, the Fizzbin action, which is a, a crazy, you know, like you uh, do a whole bunch of things all at once, depending on whether it's nighttime or if it's Tuesday, like the Kirk Fizzbin imaginary game. Okay. Anyway. And are these all available widely now, coming yep. soon? These are all in, in stores now. In stores now, all right. Yep. Well, thank you very much, Andy, for walking us through some of your Thanks new Thanks for products. playing it, and uh, you know, live long and prosper, because Star Trek. <laughs>